Hey there, welcome to Daniel Fassett Bridge to Healthy Living. Thank you for coming to my page. I wanted to talk to you about how the Daniel Fass literally changed my life. So I hope you stick around to listen to this whole video um, because it may inspire you too to do the Daniel Fast um, so that it can also change your life. Give you a little bit of background on the Daniel Fast in general. For those of you who don't know, the Daniel Fast is derived from the book of Daniel and it's about Daniel's life um, when he was sent into the king's palace um, and basically he was offered to eat the king's diet, which was a whole bunch of food that didn't align with him spiritually. And so he decides that he's going to refuse the king's diet. But here's the caveat. The reason why the king was feeding all these other young men this particular diet was because they had to be strong physically, okay? And so Daniel goes ahead and refuses this diet and says, listen, I'm just going to eat vegetables and all of this other stuff. And the guy who was reporting back to the king said, listen, this is not going to work because you have to be strong. And so Daniel says, give me 10 days. Um... If I'm any different or weaker, fine, I'll go ahead and eat the king's diet. To make a long story short, Daniel goes ahead and he does these 10 days. But here's what happens, guys. Not only is he still physically strong, but he is 10 times um, healthier than the guys that were eating the king's diet. And so, of course, this is where the inspiration comes from. People, millions of people around the world do the Daniel fast from this inspiration that when Daniel put aside certain foods and just ate uh, whole plant foods like vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, and things like that, that he had an obvious appearance of looking healthier than his peers and all of the other stuff. And so we now fast across the world. People fast for so many different reasons using the Daniel fast. Some churches use it to start off the new year correctly. Some people use it just for a personal breakthrough in their finances, um, in their marriage, in their family. But here's the kicker, guys. The original reason why we were really inspired, what really stood out to us was that Daniel was 10 times healthier than his peers. But I'll jump back to that later. I want to get into my particular story and how the Daniel fast literally changed my life. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background of what my life was like right before the fast. So this was um, 2010 and I was in my last trimester of my pregnancy and I was actually diagnosed with high blood pressure. Um, and so the doctor had put me on medications and at the time I didn't really think of it as anything because my grandmother had high blood pressure, my mom had high blood pressure. So I wasn't really making too much connections with that other than, okay, I had to take these medications and it was my last trimester. But what I didn't know then, which is what I know now, is that women who have high blood pressure during their pregnancy are at a higher risk for complications before, during, and after um, their whole labor and delivery experience. Um, and that was even higher for African-American women. So I didn't know that until after the fact. And so here it was, I went into my delivery and I had a complication and my son lost oxygen to his brain. And for all those of you who know this, once you lose oxygen to your brain, every second counts. And so um, he was had to be resuscitated. He was air flighted to a hospital. And um, they really tried to get his brain to function normally by doing a lot of interventions in the early days of him losing the oxygen. But he never fully recovered and he was unable to actually suction. So we had to use a feeding tube. And as you could imagine, um, the, the trauma of number one, going through um this ordeal during delivery that almost took my life my son's life the 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 trauma of you know your son going through all of this not being able to recover not being able to suck on his own not being able to really even cry or do certain things that babies normally do and so it was just this whole 
nightmare of a trauma that just started from one thing going wrong in the delivery room. Um, and so he ended up coming home and we had to have 24 hour care. And of course we were taking care of him. He was a special needs baby. We had to adjust. Um, but as you could imagine as a mom, even just going through um, that piece, it was a lot of trauma, a lot of hurt, a lot of um, depression, a lot of anger, you know, like, God, why me? Why did this have to happen? Just a lot of stuff that had to get resolved in that moment. Um, and so, um, but there was a lot of joy too. You know, we were able to bring him to Disney and our family really bonded together. So there was a lot of things that were positive as well. It just showed you the, the power of family and friends and prayer and all of those things. And so at the little bit after his first birthday, he ended up passing away. Um, he couldn't breathe. There was some kind of complication. And as you could imagine, that is like the rock bottom. So this is your worst fears have come to fruition. And so I think at that point in my life, I was, I think the the most out of alignment with myself, with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. Um, you know, I was, you know, if you can imagine, of course, you know, emotionally down. Um, I had gained the most weight I had ever gained. I think also too, I was using food as a comfort. So, um, you know, you're eating way more than you should and the things that you shouldn't be eating and just a lot of um, disalignment with self. And of course I was praying and we were doing therapy and we were doing all of the things that we were supposed to do. Um, but it was still this heavy, heavy weight that really overtook my life. And I would say even everyone that was like, so just out of the blue, I normally, just to give you some background, I've done the Daniel fast many times with um, my church. Um, and I'll be honest, I don't think I really did the Daniel fast like 100% where I didn't like tweak it a little bit or add this or add that or whatever. But I did partake in the Daniel fast several times as a corporate corporate with the church. Um, and so just randomly out of the blue, this is after my son had passed away. It was several months down the line near to the ending of the year. Um, a friend of mine, came to me and she said, Hey, let's do the Daniel fast. And again, because there's, I, because I've done the Daniel fast before and all of the restrictions and all that stuff, I wasn't sure if I was even in the mood for the Daniel fast, because when you're kind of going through things emotionally, like I said, I was using food and I was just in my own rhythm. I was like, I don't know if I want to even, if I'm even emotionally up for it. And so I said to her, you know what, I'll do it, but I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to add eggs and I'm going to add this and I'm going to add that. And I remember in that moment, she just completely arrested me. And she said, listen, if you're going to do this Daniel fast, you're going to have to do it exactly the way it's designed. And guys, I don't know why this resonated with me in that moment, but it was almost like it was meant for me. It was like, okay, and something in me was just like, this is your time. You need to do this and you need to do it exactly the way. And her voice was almost a a, a whisper from God in, in a weird way. And so I said, okay, I'm going to do this Daniel fast exactly the way it's designed. And I think this is probably the first time that I really was committing to that and that I actually did it the exact way it was designed. And so... Fast forward, I was doing the Daniel fast exactly the way I it was designed. I was doing the prayers, the meditation. I was taking time for God. Um, and guys, something miraculous happened. Like, it was just unbelievable. And guys, remember, I was coming into this, number one, with all the emotional trauma, with all the spiritual draining, because, you know, you're going through a lot of praying and in and, 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 kind of wrestling with God in this terrible time. And so I, I was coming in there depleted. I was coming in there the heaviest I've ever been. I was coming in there also with this high blood pressure issue. And so guys, within 
I would say, I don't even know if it was the 21 days. Cause I ended up doing it for four weeks. Normally it's done for 21 days, but it, I don't know if it was the exact 21 day mark, but guys, everything lifted. I had spiritual and mental clarity. I heard the voice of God more clearly. I felt energized so much so that I started exercising. I lost weight. My blood pressure was regulated. You name it. It was like a total 180. And I couldn't believe this because I was saying to myself, what is going on here? Because prior to doing the Daniel Fest, like I said, I was going through the therapy and I was um, doing my prayer and I was getting support from families and friends. But something happened when I did the Daniel Fest and I aligned my prayers with the Daniel Fast and I changed what was at the end of my fork. And everything shifted physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And I was like, God, this can't be. Is this a miracle? Was I Did I just go through a 21-day miracle and that I'm an anomaly and I just need to just accept it at that? Um, and so I started to do a little more research and I started to study the the book of Daniel a little more deeper. And then I started to do a lot of research about um, eating like Daniel. Because at the time, I've done the Daniel fast so many times, but I never connected the fact that the Daniel fast was a whole food plant-based diet. I, I it, Like it went over my head. Like I didn't even associate vegan diet, whole food plant-based diet. I just thought Daniel ate the way he ate and I never made the connection. But this time I did some investigation and I went in and I started to research what is the power of a plant-based diet. And I found out that it was the only diet that was ever proven to reverse heart disease and not only heart disease, but, you know, prevention and, and, and reversal and management of diabetes and weight loss and high blood pressure and prevention of cancers. And there was just so much that this diet did um, that it just amazed me. And I was like, wait a minute, when Daniel stood out from his peers and he was 10 times healthier that wasn't by accident it was the fact that what he was eating actually fueled and edified his body and so i went on this quest to figure out the power between fasting doing the daniel fast in relation to improving your health, which ultimately spills over into every area of your life. Because I realized that once you were physically healthy, what did it do? It starts to spill over to you spiritually, emotionally, um, just every single facet of your life. And so I realized that um, it wasn't just about the losing the weight. It wasn't just about regulating the blood pressure. It was the synergy that happened in my entire life by combining the prayer and the fasting with changing what I eat, removing all of those toxic foods that I was eating and combining that with intimate relationship with God. And so guys, it really set me on fire. And I knew in that moment that this was my calling. This was my calling to help other people see that connection, to go into the Daniel fast, not missing this very important piece that Daniel left the fast 10 times healthier. So many times we do the Daniel fast guys and we get all of the spiritual benefits, but we leave the health benefits behind, right? So we leave the Daniel fast and we go back to our regular way of eating and we become spiritually and emotionally clouded again with all the toxic foods and it's like this vicious cycle. And so guys, that is how the Daniel Fast changed my life literally. It changed my health. It changed me emotionally. It changed me spiritually. It changed my career, my direction and purpose in life. Because guys, if you do, you ever wonder when you're doing the Daniel Fest, why you hear God's voice more clearly? It is partly, yes, because of the spiritual aspect, but part of it is the fact that we are removing some of these toxic foods that is blurring our entire mind and, and, and focus, um, and it allows us to be very, very cloudy. Um, and so... That is how the Daniel Fast um, changed my life. And so now 
um, Gigi and I, which is my partner for Daniel Fast and Bridge to Healthy Living, now we're on a mission to help women take charge of their health by using the Daniel Fast as a jumping off point to a long-term healthy lifestyle. So here's the real miracle in all of this, guys. Not only did all of that switch around emotionally, spiritually, physically, but I never turned back. I never stopped eating like Daniel because at the end of the day, Daniel was a teenager when he went into the King's Palace. And I think when you look at the legacy of Daniel's life well up into his 80s, he was a man with purpose. He never changed. He never filtered. And I believe part of that is he was a steward of his health and he stood out 10 times healthier, which sprinkled over into every area of his life. And so guys, that is how the Daniel Fast literally, literally changed my life. It changed my health. It changed my spiritual focus. It changed everything. So if you love this story, please go ahead and follow this channel. Um, go ahead and click the links in this video. We have a lot of resources. If you are curious how the Daniel Fest can change your life too, go ahead and click some of those links um, and we will direct you to all of the resources that we have coming up.